Kapoz. My name is Miss Kapaza, uh, CMCC Media Anchor. We are live here at CMCC. We just had a powerful, powerful Sunday service with our speakers. We have encouraged us to be doers of the word and the power of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We are so blessed here. We are so blessed. And our speakers, they are still here with us. I'm just, I'm just going to tell them, ask them to introduce themselves and give a word to the CE who are, who are in their days of prayer and fasting. Over to you, Pastor. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, good day to us all. My name is Pastor Tari from uh, Western Cape North Province and I'm pastoring Cape Winelands. I just wanted to encourage the CE who are doing 21 days that it's, it's, you're not supposed to miss this one, the prayer convention that we are having this weekend. Uh, let's not miss it. Come and learn the word of God and learn how to become a, a, a child in the kingdom of God. Also, our parents, let's allow our children to come and meet with other children. That is where they get their deliverance. Also, understanding in the kingdom of God. Also, they learn how to pray and read the word of God. So, parents, let's allow our children to come for the prayer convention. Thank you. Uh, my name is Pastor Solomon Magoso. Uh, greetings to us all. Uh, I would like to say to all CE uh, and also the parents, uh, this is the moment uh, for us to train our children. So allow your child to attend this, 20, uh, this prayer convention as they are finishing their 21 days. I know this is the time for them to lay a foundation for their lives for 2024. So allow them to come and hear the word of God and be encouraged because it's only the word of God that can change a human being. I know you try to change, I know you train your children, but let them come, be together with others so that they will enjoy. Thank you so much. Wow, powerful encouragement from our pastors. Thank you so much. Uh, just your parting remarks, the way to the church. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, this year is a year uh, to be ready to practice the kingdom of God and work and work on our lives, on our character. So let's continue to practice the kingdom of God. Let's be doers of the word and not hearers only. Uh, I would like to encourage the church of God that this year is the year of uh, uh, dominating. We need to do dominate in the kingdom of God. So we need to live a kingdom life. So we, I want to encourage one another to be the doers of the word of God. Let us continue to learn through the books that were written by our Father. So thank you so much. Let us continue to hold on to the, all the teachings. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much, our pastors, viewers, you have heard for yourself. 2024, we are living the kingdom life. Hallelujah and welcome to our Sunday service. Uh, my name is Manasha Karan Kambizi, also known as Miss Casey, and I am going to be your host. I am here with our wonderful Forward and Faith class of 2023 matriculants, and we're just going to ask them a bit about their experience, um, any motivation they have to the class of 2024. So I'm going to start with um, my girl on the right. Uh, she's going to introduce herself. Um, okay, thank you. My name is Blessed Saonyama and yeah, I matriculated this year. Uh, my experience was, well, matric is a very long journey. It's a roller coaster of emotions. You'll find your t at times it's very difficult and you have zero motivation but you just have to be strong and remember that it's, it's a time, like, it's a time period, it'll pass, it's a phase, <laughs> it'll pass. Like, I, when we started, we probably never thought we'd be here right now. So that's my encouragement to just like hold on, no matter how depressing it may feel. Hi everyone, my name is Bethel Wanita Burra and I matriculated last year in 2023. Well, my experience for matric, it was crazy, I cried a lot. I've never experienced anything like that, but all I can say is pray, pray, pray. You can overcome anything with prayer. 
Hello everyone, my name is Tasheni, also known as Smiley. And yeah, I also matriculated last year. Um, matric is a roller coaster of emotions. Like Bethel said, there are many tiers. But at the same time, as um, short as it is, like it's three terms, it's very packed. So you just have to make the most of your time, be it in your social life. Don't um, focus more on social and focus more on books. Just try and find a balance and yeah. All right, thank you. I'm moving on to my left-hand side. Um, my name is Desire Chindawata. I also matriculated last year, and what I can say for the class of 2024 is that start early and don't procrastinate a lot and learn to balance your time. Don't just focus on academics because you'll be academically drained. Focus on both academics and social life. Be, have a balanced life, and that's all I can say. And good luck for 2024. Hello everyone, my name is Rafa Gwenzi, aka Rafa G, and I, as well as the other beautiful ladies and the gentlemen here, matriculated last year, 2023, and my encouragement for the matrics that are, that are to come is give yourself a break. Don't put yourself under like too much pressure and don't try pleasing other people around you. Please yourself and what you can do, do your best. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Nigel, Metric 2023, and uh, first I would like to talk about my experience as a uh, Metric. Um, it was a very difficult year, but I thank God that we managed. And all I can say is, um, you must start your studies while in time, and you must um, prioritize your time. Like me, I'm a soccer player, but I had to leave that aside for a minute until I was done. Like now, look here, I can do whatever I want now because I'm done with my studies. So yeah. Um, there's a lot, it's going to come with a lot of challenges, but through prayer and um, taking your time with God, you're going to succeed. And I just want to encourage everyone that's going to do metric in 2024 to do their best. And um, it's all about pleasing yourself at the end of the day, because if you fail metric, then you are really like uh, nobody, because you need that paper. So um, to the metrics of 2024, I just want to say good luck. Thank you so much to our wonderful class of 2023. I'm sure we're all excited for uni and all our future endeavors. Um, I wish you all the best with everything that you're going to be doing. And yeah, hashtag class of 2023. And that's all from us. Thank you.